Kia ora. I've got Ben, just bumped into him actually, <laughs> out as he was arriving to school and grabbed him for the video newsletter. Huge night last night, Ben. Te ao, yeah. te ao, te ao. The Wellington Girls Wellington College uh, showcase. We didn't call it an extravaganza. No, it was extravagant. Oh, it was extravagant. It yeah. was incredible. Um, I'm pretty knackered after that, but a big night. Te ao, te ao is what we've um, is how we've been translating receive the light and pass it on, which is both the motto of both Wellington Girls College and Wellington yeah. College. So that's how the name of the event came through. Mm -hmm. What did it involve? Oh, I mean, it was, it's was it been a whole bunch of work really since the end of last year. I mean, on the behalf of, sort of the prefects, I think other people have been working on it since even before then, Miss Hazeldean um, particularly. It's just been all sorts of kind of um, getting the different groups organised. So it's um, Kapahaka, uh, all the music groups, the orchestra, the jazz band, there's a couple of other bands, I think. Uh, Poly Club, uh, the Pacific Performance Group, um, Show Quest, uh, an exit from Sheila Wynn. It's just all sorts of different. Yeah, yeah. different and it courses. largely focuses on those collaborative groups. Yeah, sure. So we have so many groups that collaborate in, the, in both music and drama, and yeah. and um, some uh, some uh, items are presented, you know, produced specifically for that. Yeah. And then other events that we other ones that we've done at other events like yeah. Show Quest. And I think it, I think it's really cool. Um, Kind of having to being able to do that collaborative work and having someone to support you, you know, different different people that you maybe don't see every day, and then going and getting different ideas. Particularly for me, sort of working as a director with with Sheila Wynn, yeah, which um, is the Shakespeare excerpt. Yeah, I, I know, you know, I learned so much. Kind of working with Daisy, Daisy Van Well, the head girl from Wellington Girls, and just you know the the ability to share ideas and talk about different things. I think you know that sort of lifted our performance, and that was really good. So your Shakespeare excerpt from Romeo and Juliet mm -hmm. it's set by the bucket fountain yep so it's it's set in Cuba Street <laughs> yeah. um, it's a modern retelling of Act 3 scene 1 of Romeo and Juliet and um, we wanted to set it in Cuba Street because we wanted to just give it, give it a bit of a Wellington homey feel and sort of um, kind of turn the turn the whole play on its head a bit you're also in the show quest so it was great to see that <laughs> amazing lively vibrant performance yeah again. I was I mean I was really proud of the show quest boys yeah. to really kind of um, come and bring it again for the third kind of big performance we've done. I think um, we're one of only two boys schools in New Zealand that actually enter that. It's a dance competition. Yeah. Um, and the, we have some amazing dancers. Oh, we really do. And some other people that just give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> and, that, I mean, and bring energy and yeah, enthusiasm. And that's, that's kind of the biggest thing. It's, it's t telling those boys, you know, just lift your face and smile and everything kind of clicks into place from there. And once they realise yeah. that... I love you, our you energy magic. and that, that sense of that we're part of something. Yeah. Um, what else stood out for you last night uh, in terms of your favourite performances? I mean, I think... For everybody, the the Kapaka Te Hayata Awatea um, were absolutely incredible. The choreography of that group this year, oh, it just feels like it's gone up oh, a level. Absolutely incredible. And yeah. then the to, energy, yeah. yeah. And then to close with the Pacifica Performance Group, obviously, yeah. they're always incredible. And you know, to watch them, uh, I didn't get to watch them on the night. I got to watch them in the dress rehearsal. But even then, you know, sort of bringing a tear to my eye. That was so, so that was good. a combined presentation. But our boys will be at Tu Tangata yeah. on Tuesday. Uh, doing a different set yeah. that they've been working so hard. So best um, wishes yeah, um, for that. Um, this was the first really big performing arts event we had in the new building. Mm -hmm. uh, what was it like performing at school in the AGC? Yeah, I mean, I was a bit, bit nervous, to be honest with you, um, but it really came together. The whole kind of, um, the hall uh, was, um, it felt like a performance venue, yeah. which, <laughs> which was amazing. You know, um, it felt up there with, with lots of the different sort of venues we've worked in around Wellington. Yeah. And just kind of um, the lighting, the sound, I mean, the, the stage was wonderful. And mm. just, you know, being able to have such a, a quality space here to work with is my, was really lovely. My office, my office is just adjacent to the auditorium. So I had a fantastic day yesterday. <laughs> the place was full of yeah. Wellington College and Wellington Girls College. We had them up and down our yeah. corridor. We had rooms being used here, which was just fantastic. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. Uh, just, just um, uh, the bell's gone and we need to yep. get you to class. Um, but just uh, for the parents there, we really need you to um, go to the website this week. There are so many things happening, including uh, uh, year nine enrolment, uh, course selection, um, re uh, registering for tutor conferences, the farewell to Robert Anderson, which is coming up. So please go to the front page of the website. All that information is there. Cool. Thanks, Ben. Thanks, Have a great weekend.